Hi, it's me again. Today I'd like to uh, work on the notification feature for Balsamic Cloud. Let's see what happens. Okay, so um, let's take a look. Um, Slack, I think, has pretty good settings for notifications. So you have them for yourself, where you can say notify me about everything, or direct messages, or nothing. And this is about this specific community. For each community, you set this up. And there's this one, notify me about replies to threads I'm following. Then um, you can do keywords, or uh, also do not disturb. And then you can see how the notification looks and um, all this. Then you can have channel specific um, notification settings that are like this, messages, mentions, nothing, or mute. That's different. That's not a, just about a notification. I guess so. I guess it means nothing for both. No, it's more than that. But anyways, so they have this two tiered thing, which I think is flexible. So for instance, and you can access cloud beta and you can do it from here as well on mobile, just mentions done. So here you can see all the, all the channels that you set up. Okay, so this is pretty interesting. Let's look at Google Drive. Uh, some test. Uh, let's see. I think there was a way to say get notified. There it is, notification rules. I like how it shows your email address here. Any changes are made. And then daily or right away. I like that too. All right. I think that's enough to get started. So let me clone this guy. Duplicate this guy. We call it. Because this is pretty close. This is. I got the whole editor ready to go here. Okay. So. What I'm thinking is that there will be maybe a, a way to get to the notifications like a bell. And that could have a badge. Um, let's do this. Uh, is there a, no, I don't have that. We really need to add a little one button. Uh, shape. All right, you win. Balsamic. Who makes the software? Okay. Come on. Too small, too small. Okay, I will make it red. Say you have a notification, then it shows with a little one. Something like that. Okay, so... Actually, we already have that for comments. This ended up being on the left. Come on. There we go. We have that for comments. Test. See, there's a little one there for unread. And it's blue. Not green. Not red. 
Now the notifications, this is comments, but okay, yeah, yeah, we, we need both because one could be something that was edited. So let's make a list of the things that we want to track. We want to track all edits. Uh, this is new wireframes, edits to existing, deletions, comments, like, alternates stuff like that and I would do also people added or removed this is if you really want everything then there's the only app messages likes or replies to your comments which I think should be the default and then nothing I think these are the three levels that people might want and then there's the daily digest or right away option although maybe it's not a maybe you want daily digest of this and right away of that you know what I mean I kind of would like that personally Here's what happened in Balsamic Cloud today, blah, 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 once a day. But if somebody's messaging me or mentioning me or something, I want to know right away. So maybe the design is not three radio buttons. Maybe it's like this. No. no. Never. Now, let me do this. This way it's more, it's an order of uh, frequency. So then there is no, right? There's, there is no never because you just turn off both. So, but if we do this, then it kind of overrides this option. Because if you say, give me everything right away, then this should get disabled. The whole thing should get disabled. Because it means I want everything right away. Now, if you select Daily Digest, then this can get enabled and you can select what you want. And if you select never, you can also say, okay, not everything, but, but I do want the messages right away. I don't love it. I don't love it. There's gotta be a better way. There's gotta be a better way. Do we need to give all this power to people? Because otherwise, it's it's really a slider where you say, I want all messages. Uh, mentions, something like that. We can talk, we can add nothing, right? And you can say, I want them. Um, so my, <laughs> thinking I'm thinking because I do want the option to say give me all these once a day oh we could do it this way if you select the middle one then 
there is a checkbox where you can say send me a daily digest of all messages And if this is selected, whoops. If this is selected, then this is selected and disabled. But then if this guy is selected, then you can decide. and then if nothing is selected you can still decide so this this really is the uh, messages to send right away i don't like this either it's not it's not great How about, let's do one more design, which is similar to this one that we did here. But inverted. So this is the most important one where we say, okay, for app messages, send, it, send them right away. And that should be the default. All other edits, then you can say daily digest or never. So these are not, now it's no longer, this is no longer a subset of this. These are all split. So I like this. We can say all other notifications and then we can explain it somewhere else. We can explain them, uh, you know, like somewhere in a small print. No, I don't want it to be a bullet. Well, the, the, the visual design can be can be improved later, but this I like because it's pretty simple. If you don't want anything, you just you have to do never never. Um, yeah. If you want this, which is what I want, it's already the default. <clears throat> if you want to just to go that, I like that. Should we? Yeah. Yeah, I like this the best. So, that, now this could be for this for this project a specific project but then you can also have them for um for yourself for in general because usually people like to be notified of uh projects of all projects in the same way there's <clears throat> i think it's a style of how people want to interact with balsamic cloud as a whole not specific projects so maybe step one version one is only a per user notification and then if we want to complicate it inevitably people will ask for it but we'll see if we can stall them and we'll see how important it is um, then we can add the like slack that has the per where are we here this section right here channel specific notifications 
we can build something like that. Now the question is, uh, so we got this part, we got sort of this part and the email is not showing, but so where, where was I? Okay. So if we go with this design, where do we put this stuff? We should put it here. User settings, name, last name, email, password, and then down here you could scroll and say uh, notification preferences. So let's design that. I think I have that. There it is. Is it close to what we actually implemented? Yes. It's very close, in fact. Okay, so I'll start from here. And um, here I was. So, forget this guy. Well, we can talk about that later. Uh, so, I'm just going to copy this guy. Okay, so we make it a little bit longer. And uh, we add some stuff. So. Email. copy and paste and then we can look at it I'll just move it down this is the winner anyways boop, 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 boop. so email me four um, boom label did I do? What did I do? I pushed the wrong keyboard shortcut. All right. Email me four. Okay. So, uh, this is too big. This is too big. Let's do it this way. I guess we can do it this way. That's simple. That looks pretty clean. Email me about eight app messages, likes, or replies to my comments. Email me about all other events, new wireframes, edits to existing, new or edited wireframes.
uh, comments, likes. Do we do I even have to say any of this? That's it. All other events. Nice and simple. It says all. What more do you need to know? It's everything else. Oh. Every, should I say everything else? No, that's uh, we have to say events or something. Yeah, because everything else could be marketing stuff. Oh. And the email I don't need to put because it's right there. So that's very simple. This one is more less often, so I'll move it down. And that's it that is the design so then you get a notification email or a digest we can design those um, and when you so I'm gonna delete these guys because they lost group and then when you come in here there's a pop-up up over here that says basically what happened what happened it tells you your notifications like there is a comment blah blah, blah just like we have here oh I deleted it I can run do very good so here it says mark as read comment by Jack Mugrizzoni blah 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 so link mark as read And then um, let's do I got a label. And so something like that of course this would go and then we do another comment have to be wrapping but okay so this is a three and these are basically the the emails that you got do we care about this in the app it's really just about email notification do we also need it here I mean once you go in you already know what you're going to be, what you got notified about in the email. Yeah, I don't think we need any of this. This is more of a history feature. Yeah, forget it. Forget it.
yeah I don't need I don't need it the app itself is gonna tell me the the email itself is gonna tell me what changed I'm not gonna even wireframe it now but basically it's uh, somewhere you know this person did this on this wireframe click here to get to it blah 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 and you go to it and that's it or here's what happened today blah 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 blah, blah. but I can wireframe that another time this is what I cared about and so this is the notification preferences for the user if we want to have per project we could add them here we could add these this same uh, stuff right here there's enough room in the project panel where you can do that per project and then if we do that then they will say hey there's a, some projects that are overriding it blah 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 all right that's enough for now thank you